Stewart with a home Bible study for you. We have looked into chapter 1 of Matthew. We also uh, talked a little bit about the genealogy of Matthew chapter 1. I call that a forgotten chapter because it's not usually spoken on or taught, yet it's probably the most important chapter in the New Testament as it introduces, us to, introduces to us who Jesus is and how he came to earth through the line or the lineage. Well, in chapter 2, well, chapter 1 also, uh, Joseph was told by the angel to not fear to take Mary as his wife, even though she was already six or seven months along expecting. And then he was told to name, her, name him Jesus because he shall take away their sins. And that's exactly what Jesus Christ came to do. Jesus Christ is God on two feet. What would God look like if he came to earth as a human? What would God look like? Well, he would be like one of us. He'd have two ears and two eyes. He'd have a nose and a mouth. He, could, he had his five senses. He could speak and talk. He had feelings. He, could, he was hungered. He slept. He hurt when, uh, uh, when somebody cut him, as far as even with words. He uh, bled on the cross. Um, anyway, uh, he was fully human in all aspects. For, uh, chapter 2 of Matthew, uh, Matthew continues to tell us more about the birth of Christ. And it says here in chapter 2, verse 1, Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, see, he tells us of Judea because there are two Bethlehems in Israel. There's one in the north and then one in the south. You say, that's kind of odd. Well, I live in North Carolina. I live in Trinity in Randolph County. But when I do a search under Trinity, North Carolina, another small town comes up in the southern part of the state right near the South Carolina line. It's a different county, different zip code. So you probably have, whatever town you live in, another town somewhere in your state with the same name. So the writer, Matthew, wants us to know that Jesus Christ was born in the lower uh, part of Israel, Bethlehem of Judea, rather than the northern section. And he was also born in the days of Herod the king, so that establishes the time period when Jesus was born. And it says here, Behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. We're not sure how far these wise men traveled. We know uh, that there were three gifts given. That doesn't mean there were three wise men. But it does tell us that they were interested enough to something occurred that um, they needed to travel way, way east, probably several days or several weeks journey from way in the east, maybe in China, way on out there. And by camel, it would certainly take a long ways uh, to get there, a long time. Anyway, they came, there was wise men that came from the east to Jerusalem, and they asked, Where is he that was born, that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. And when Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. Nobody challenged Herod for the kingship of Israel and uh, that area especially. He was the head honcho. He was going to remain the head honcho. And so when him and all others in Jerusalem heard from these three wise men, they were all stunned and troubled. And that's exactly what it tells us here. He was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. So he did what any other king would do perhaps. He gathered the chief priest, the scribes of the people, and demanded of them where Christ or the Messiah should be born. So he got a council together, had a conference among his leaders, especially those, those that knew the Old Testament Bible, the scripture, and demanded where Christ should be born. And sure enough, in verse 5, they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, and then they quote Micah chapter two, uh, 5, verse 2, as a uh, fulfillment of that prophecy. For thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, you are not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. And by princes, he means towns. In all that area, there are all these little small villages and towns. Uh, and he's saying, You are not the least among all the towns there. For out of you shall come a governor that will rule my people Israel. So when Herod heard these things, he inquired of the wise men when they saw the star. Now, let me say something about that star. That star uh, was not a comet. I do not think so. It was not a meteorite. It was not an asteroid. It was not the, um, the exhaust from an alien spaceship, as one reader or writer put it one time as I read. 
that this man thought it was the exhaust coming out of an alien spaceship. Uh, the star was a supernatural uh, star that God put in the air, in the uh, atmosphere, to show the wise men to lead them to Bethlehem and to Judah and then, or, excuse me, to Jerusalem and then Bethlehem. So think of all the events of Christ that happened, his birth, his death, his ministry, his resurrection, his ascension, his coming again. All of these things are surrounded by supernatural things like, like angels and miracles and earthquakes uh, that happened because of God's hand and dreams that were unique and visions and all these great uh, divine things that happened to introduce these things to us like his birth and his ministry and his resurrection and so forth. So King, King Herod said in verse 8, he sent them, the three wise men, to Bethlehem and said, go and search diligently for the young child and when you have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship also. Herod was a sly fox. All he wanted to know was the location of this newborn baby. He calls him a young child because by the time uh, the wise men would have been, uh, gotten to Bethlehem, Jesus was probably uh, one or two years old. Uh, if you notice later, if we read into uh, Luke's account, it refers to a babe. and um, But here it says the later that they went into the house where the young child was. So Jesus had to uh, gain some age there. So I, I think that after the events of Luke, he went... They went back to Nazareth, and a year or two later went back to Bethlehem for some unknown reason, and that's when they came across the uh, wise men. Because remember, in Luke's account, it says they were in a, a stall. They were in a cave. They were in a closed environment where sheep were kept. Here, they were in the house, and we'll see that in just a moment. So, it says here in verse 9, When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. So that star had to be low enough in the atmosphere to stand right over the site where Jesus was born, not millions of miles up as a star way up in our universe somewhere. How could that stand right over the spot where Jesus was? And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. Okay, the next video uh, will uh, continue with... Uh, verse 11 of chapter 2, and read a little bit more about the birth of Christ. Thanks for joining us. Again, this is Dr. Stewart and Dr. Stewart Home Bible Study, focus on the book of Matthew. Thanks for joining me. Bye.